Este reportaje, como dice la autora, puedes creer o no creer. Haz tu propia investigación. There was a second group. They went further north, all the way to the region we now call Ukraine and southern Russia, between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. There they took on the name Khazars and called their new homeland the Kingdom of Khazaria after their ancestors. Joseph Khagan, king of the Khazars, explained in a letter to the foreign secretary of the Caliph of Cordoba, Hasdai ibn Chaprut, that his people were direct descendants from Japheth, son of Noah. Khazaria was right at the center of the northwestern Silk Road. Merchants who traveled through Khazaria had to pay. The Khazars were different than the peoples from the surrounding countries. They were described as thieves and spies. They were said to be lawless people who lived a life of sin, of sexual extremities and of cruelty. They would murder travelers from other countries and adopt their identity. They were masters of deceit. And last but not least, they were said to worship Baal, also referred to as Moloch, a representation of Lucifer that demanded child sacrifice. In return, Baal was said to reward them with riches, with fame and fortune. The neighboring countries despised them. They hated their sacrificial rituals in which they threw babies into the flames or cut them open to drink their blood and eat their flesh, claiming it gave them incredible power and energy and eternal youth. Urged by these surrounding peoples, the Russian ruler knew he had to do something. In the year 600, he warned their king, Bulan, that their Luciferian practices had to end. He told him they had to convert to either Judaism, Christianity or Islam. The choice was his. Bulan chose Judaism. But he did not really convert. He merely took elements from Judaism and forged them into his own Luciferian belief. King Bulan and his people lived on and prospered. Nothing much had changed, except for the fact that for outsiders, they now called themselves Judeans, which they were not. Mind you, the name Jew wasn't invented until the 18th century. Four centuries went by. In 965 AD, the Russian ruler, Grand Prince of Kiev, Sviatoslav I, felt they had gone too far with their continued devil worshipping and child sacrifice. He decided to wipe them out. But the Khazars had their spies everywhere, and the Russian cunning plan was brought to the ears of the Khazarian king who, just in time, fled the country with his 25 wives and 60 concubines, all of the nobility, plus an enormous amount of gold and silver. The entire exodus of royalty and nobility went via Hungary to Poland, then from Germany southward to France and Spain. Comparte y síguenos para más contenido.